In this video, we utilize the memory cell and the new fully charged connection uh, to swap power between two batteries. And then afterwards, I'll try and explain how it works. Right, let's get started. Right, you don't need these counters uh, in it, this, just so we can see how it works. Right, so this branch we set to two. You then run the left hand side around to the AND switch. And then the other side you right, run up to the uh, memory cell. So this then connects to the fully charged output on this one. So that then uh, sends through two through to here. Uh, if both of these are positive. So on this one, we set to one. And then it sends a signal, a one signal down both these lines to this uh, memory switch. So the left hand side goes to your primary battery and then uh, the right hand side goes to your secondary which we can see we got this one fully charged. So this one's sending out a signal to the AND switch, which is then sending it down, the telling it the power goes to your secondary battery. So we're just gonna disconnect the power from the charged so it represents the battery not being fully charged. And you can see straight away it flips to charging the main battery. So we reconnect that and it goes back to charging the secondary. So the main battery you can see is fully charged. And because of that, it's charging the secondary battery, which we should see tick up. There we go. And it's that simple. Okay, so I'm gonna try and explain how this works. I'm probably gonna make a right hash of it. Right, I've made this uh, simple circuit. This is to show how the branch here interacts with the memory switch this would be the main represent the main battery this would re represent the secondary battery so at the moment we got no power coming through these so you can imagine that's off um, and what happens next is when we turn this on when when power goes to this this one for a, for a millisecond gets power just before this here so what happens is it would flick this and then a millisecond later it would flick this so that at that point it's detected that there's power there's a signal coming from the battery saying it's fully charged and it flips to the secondary battery now when the power gets turned off to this this gets cut first and then this one gets cut so it goes like that and you see it actually flicks over to uh, the main battery now if we if we if we turn this one on off while that one's connected you can see it it makes no difference whatsoever so if we have that on and then flick that one off, you can see it actually makes a difference. So there we go. That's that's how it this is how this work this switch works. And I hope that helps. I hope you found this uh, useful. If you could like and subscribe and maybe leave a comment, that'd be awesome.